All right guys, so we're back with a brand new video. So we're gonna talk about HTTP cookies. So what exactly are cookies? Well, they're just a small piece of data that is sent back from a server to the client. The client can be either the web browser. In our case, we're using Postman. So Postman is our client. So Postman will actually store the cookies if the web server sends one back to us. And it basically allows us to make subsequent requests to the server to exchange the cookie for a piece of information. And that piece of information can be a bunch of different things. It can be our recent orders that we had placed. It can be our credentials. It can be the item in our shopping cart, a whole bunch of things. Remember, cookies allow us to keep track of the state of our HTTP requests because by default, HTTP is stateless. It's independent. Every single request made is independent from the other one. So in order for us to keep track of requests, so for example, activity from a user, maintaining logged in users, keeping track of items in a user's shopping cart, we need to use cookies. Now, typically there's also something called local storage they can use. These are just some examples of perfect use cases for cookies. So let's talk a little bit about how they work at a high level, and then we're gonna go ahead and implement it in Express. So think of it like this. The user enters their username and password, they click on the login button. Okay, now a request is made to the server, and basically we make a post request to the server, passing in the username and password in the request body, and the server, what it will do is it'll generate a unique session ID for the client. Now the server is gonna send back a response attaching the session ID in the headers. So that way, when the browser has the cookie, it stores it, every single request that is made to the server will send that HTTP cookie to the request header. Now the correlation between the session ID and the cookie is simple. The server generates a session ID and you can actually use the session ID on the browser as a cookie, okay? Every single time you make a request to the server with that session ID, with that cookie, it's basically going to uniquely identify which user which session that made this request. So we know who is making this request. And yeah, so once the request is made, the server is gonna receive the request, the middleware functions will take care of parsing the cookie received. And then on the server side, we can also check which user this cookie belongs to. And then we can, for example, check the database, see what session ID this correlates to. And then now we know which user it is. So we can perform whatever business logic we need for that user. All right, so let's put what we just learned into practice. So. We're gonna go ahead and send a cookie back to the client, but before we do anything else, we need to install something called cookie parser. So this is going to be a middleware function that we're going to import right up top over here. So const cookie parser equals require cookie parser. And I should probably put this right up top over here. Okay, so because by default, Express will not parse cookies for us. So we need to use cookie parser so that way the request object. So if you go over here, if I type rec.cookies, you can see that there's a property called cookies, but it's going to be undefined. Okay, so we need to use cookie parser in order for this middleware function to be registered in our app. That way, it will parse the cookies if there are, if there are. So that way it will parse cookies if there are any. So we're going to call app.use cookie parser. And there you go, we just invoke function just like that and you can also pass in a secret as well but we're not going to worry about that for uh, for now okay so what we're going to do is let me make a simple route we're going to use a new route so we'll first do app.get uh let's just pretend we're signing in okay because quite often whenever you're logging into a website it's going to send you a cookie back all right so let's just simply do this, let's say res.cookie. So we're calling the cookie, this is a function on the response object. Okay, we're not calling, we're not doing rec.cookie because the request object, you don't set cookies on the request object, you set it on the response object. So now the cookie just needs the name. So we can call this whatever you want. So I can just say, uh, let's just say session ID. And let's give the session ID of one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and let's go ahead and send a response back. And let's just send, we can also send JSON like this. So I can do something like message logged in. All right, so now we're gonna go into Postman and we're going to make a call. We're gonna make a get request to localhost port 3000 at the route signed in. So we're just basically pretending like we're signing in. So we're going to Click on send, but pay attention 
to a response, you're going to see it says OK. And notice how there's this cookie. And notice how it says session ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have this cookie that lives on the client side now, the browser. Or this is not a browser, this is our uh, client, Postman. So now, what we want to do with this cookie is every single time a user makes a request, we want to validate the cookie. We want to make sure the cookie actually exists. So what I'll do is I'll write a middleware function. So we're going to kind of bring together the previous episode with this episode. We're applying our middleware knowledge with this episode. So let's do this. Let's create a function, validate cookie. And it's going to take in our three parameters, request, response, and then next, which is a function to be invoked. So we're going to do this. Let's get the cookie. So const cookies. So we're destructuring cookies. Okay, and what I want to do is first, let me actually console uh, cookies and I'll just call next to show you guys how it looks like. And we're going to mount this middleware function to this sign in route. Okay, and typically a sign in route should be a post request. So let's click send and you're going to see that we actually have an error and it says cannot send headers after they are sent to the client. You know why? It's because we did dot send. It should be dot status. Sorry about that. Okay, let's send it again. Okay, there we go. Logged in. Okay, and you can see right over here, we have this object. That's the cookies object, request cookies. And you can see the session ID. So what we want to do is you want to validate that cookies object, right? You want to make sure that cookies has this session ID. Okay, so we can say something like if session ID is in cookies. So if that's true, let's just say console log session ID exists. Okay, so that basically means that the client sent a cookie to the server. Okay, but what we need to also do is we need to make sure that this cookie is actually valid. Because if it's not valid, and if you actually allow the user to use this cookie, that can be very crucial. That's a vulnerability, which means that they can just change their cookies to whatever they want. And they could basically act as if they're someone else. And you don't want that. So you always want to make sure you're validating your cookies. Okay, so let's simply just do this. Let's just say if cookies that session ID is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, because that's what we said as over here. Let's call next. Okay. Now else, if it's not equal, then what we'll do is we'll just say res dot status for three send message not authenticated. Okay. And we'll do the same right over. Let's see right over here. Let me get rid of these curly braces because we don't really need them. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go to sign in. Okay, so it should say logged in. So now watch this. If I try to, okay, so now obviously it doesn't really do anything because we're setting the cookie over here. But let's do this. Let's visit another route. So let's do app.gets. Let's just pretend we are visiting a protected route. So let's just say protected. And we're going to validate the cookie. Okay. So our middleware function is going to be called. It's going to check if session ID is inside cookies. And if it is, it's going to validate the cookie itself. And if that's validated, if it's correct, it's going to call the next function, which is going to invoke this callback function over here. So we're just going to say res.status200. Jason, you are authorized. Okay, so this should work. If I were to go to protected, you're authorized. And that's because we have this cookie, the session ID. Okay, now let me go ahead and delete this cookie now and watch this. See how it says not authenticated because we don't have the cookie. Essentially, we destroyed the cookie on the browser. So when we made the request, the cookie the session ID was not present. Okay, but we can always visit sign in. And you can see that right over here, it's saying not authenticated. But let's actually fix that real quick. Um, let's actually get rid of this middleware because when we sign in, we should get a cookie. So let's go over here. So logged in. So now you can see I have a cookie. So if I go back to protected, it's going to say you are authenticated. 
Okay, so this might be a little bit confusing because you're probably wondering, well, what exactly does this really mean? So think of it like this, right? Whenever you log in, it's going to send back a cookie. And that cookie is going to be the unique ID that we talked about earlier in the previous slides that the server is going to generate. Now, here's the thing. We are hard coding a session ID. You do not do that in a real application. What you want to do is you want to generate a unique session ID. And that session ID is going to be saved on the server. And every single time you make a request to the application, you're going to check to see if that session ID is valid. Because if you just have easily guessable session IDs, anyone can just send these cookies to your server. And it's basically as if they're logging in to your account and you definitely do not want that to happen. So when we send the cookie back, we now have a cookie stored on our client. Okay, and we can use this cookie to send it back to the server to access protected routes like this one right over here. This route is going to always call this valid cookie middleware and it's going to make sure that the cookie is correct. And if I change this condition, let's say if our session ID is different, if I try to visit this again, it's going to say not authenticated. That's pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.